All right, everyone, I'm going to show you today how to make uh, crochet scrubbers. Okay, so here's all the scrubbies. I'm making these to give as Christmas gifts. Every Christmas I give these away, and everybody asks me to do this. This is not a crochet tutorial. This is just to show you how you make these little circle scrubbers. What you're going to do is you go to the fabric store. We don't have a lot here in Hawaii, so we, all, we go to Walmart. That's our fabric store. And you go and buy this tool. Okay, this is the type they make kids ballerinas or party favors and everything. Okay, so this is like a this is a buck eleven here. So what I buy is maybe four yards at a time. I save this so I could show you. So this is only a couple yards. How to do it? Now do you see how this is when you get it? It's on the boat and it's nice and long. Okay, so what you're gonna do is it's long. So fold it so you have the long going on here. Because what we want to do is cut these strips as long as possible. Okay, we don't want them short, so don't go across this way, go the long way. Let me just put it so we can start seeing here, okay? So just, you're going to fold it over, and I'm being a little messy because I'm trying to video and not good at this video thing. Okay, so then you're going to pull it over, and you're going to you're gonna make this as heavy. I put my arm here because this thing is real, see how it pops? So you can either put clothespins or clips or something, okay? So what you do is then, however big, thick your scissors can handle okay is what you're gonna cut so what you're gonna do is this the first one the first one I cut it kinda more skinnier than my normal ones because this is on a fold and what I'm gonna have to do later on with my scissors is go cut these because I don't waste nothing alright so cut this a little bit little so I know that when it opens up it's gonna be double the size see see how this is so this is double okay so I put this on the side then you then you go and cut about an inch. It's about an inch. So do you see this? I cut off this. All right, and you do this all the way down. You keep cutting these. Okay, you got the gist. So then, what it does? Now it just gave me a whole bunch. It gave me one long. Look at this. One long piece. Okay. So here. So now I have my piece. See, it's longer. When you connect these, these. Um, when you run out, what you're going to do is, let's say I'm crocheting, and I need to connect another piece. So all you got to do is tear it. So this is great for the plane or somewhere you can't have scissors. This is what I take on the airplane because I don't need scissors. All I need is my trusty K hook, and it's a plastic one. And do you look at this hook? I want you to see this hook. You see how this hook is 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 nice and pointy. This hook works perfect to making. Um, scrubbers working with the tool okay because it has like I guess a longer a uh, bigger space right here because if you look at the regular crochet hooks it, it they don't work good you you would go crazy so you need to get this type and these are the cheapest ones you can buy and it's light okay so let's say you you're crocheting and you run out so I just want to show you real quick is you're just going to take it and just tie a knot like that one time just one time okay and then all this excess will go you will shove it in the middle of this as you're crocheting. So what you're going to do is, you're going to, I have my bag that I do all my crochet with. I have a bag here that I take everywhere. And this bag is, I keep all these in it and I can just shove it in here. And it zips up because this thing flops all over. So this is a zip up little bag. I throw my little crochet hook in a in a in a ziploc and with my little, with the scissors in case I need to cut it. Keep your hooks in something like this, or you lose them. And once you find one you really like, you're going to be upset that you lost it. Okay. So now I I won't finish this one. This is one side that I have done. You see, it looks all messy. One side. Look. Okay. This is one side. So this is the right side, and then all the little connections I did is going to be here. But when I put two of these together it is going to it's going to add some poof inside here because you can throw all your extra little pieces when you sew this up you can throw it in to make a big fat ball okay these are completely washable what I we use this for the kitchen um, I wash my dishes it doesn't scratch anything in fact I put it on my car like I have water spots and I use my Melaleuca and I use it to scrub off all the thick water spots I, we, every morning we we grab the scrubbers and uh, you know, a kitchen uh, washcloth and everything, throw it in the wash, throw it in the dryer. You know, after a while, you know, they don't 
they they'll wear down. You know, this is just a plat like a, a nylon tool. But after they start to wear down, what I do, we use those the the broken ones, the the worn down ones are for I use it for the um, outside scrubbing or we use it for the a bathroom. I scrub the bathrooms with these work amazing. Okay, I have a friend that uh, you know I know says, but like she has like uh, casts on her feet and and she. Um, she uses this to scrub her feet at night. She loves it. Now, I wouldn't scrub my body because this is pretty rough. Uh, be careful with these tools because I've bought red. And if you let it sit like on a white, it, the dye will come out. So you have to be careful with the dye. I made different ones like like um, I was making um, making like Christmas. So I made one with like red on one side, green on the other side, connected it. Uh, you, can, you can try and make like different like, you know, make center then go around and connect i'm trying to make christmas ones um i made just some black and white ones uh so just be careful though with the red yeah uh certain dyes and you'll find out like especially when i left it in my bathroom that's where i found out so this one side so here's what you're going to do just like i said this is not a crocheted lesson so um let me take this off it's hard when it's got a knot in the beginning okay so you're gonna do you know you have to make a slip knot like how you're going to start crocheting and what I do is I crochet four so one two three four okay then you're going to double crochet in the first in the first one okay so you're going to make I make eight I find eight makes that size it's perfect okay so we're going to do eight double crochets so if you don't know how to do a double crochet you need to look it up so that's two because that first chain counts as one. Two, we go three, four, P push that down now, yeah? Five, six, seven, and eight okay I'm all in that same hole right there okay and I'm at the end okay like I said every time you connect keep it on the back side okay so now I'm gonna connect so you're gonna go to the top of the first uh, this is hard I'm gonna go to the top right here if you you know when you change your first chain just go top now I'm sorry this is so forgiving so if, if you put, go through the nylon or you aren't in the top one don't worry it, it'll be okay so you're gonna Put your hook in, pull it through, and then pull all the way through, okay? So now I have this nice little circle. Okay, you're going to connect it. Chain three, one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to go in the first hole right here. I'm going to make one double crochet. So that's two there. So now in every one here, these ones, I'm going to make a double crochet. So I'm going to have 16 now, right? Because I made eight, so now I'm going to double it. So two, three. Okay, I'm gonna I'll come back. Let me go finish this. And okay, look here, I'm done. I need some more. So what I do is take this and look. This one's thinner than. Look, okay, you see this? This is not as wide as this piece. You see that? Who cares? Just tie it up. It's a scrubber. After you start crocheting it all together, it all fits together. So don't worry about it. Okay. So I'm gonna do two in each one, and then. Um, I count so because I make sure because sometimes I'm not going in the I'm going in the wrong space if I so this way I know two four six see if you put it in your bag you um, you can just pull it six seven eight I'm gonna put you on pause I'm gonna finish this and when I come around I'll show you Okay, I, I did the 16 right here. You see that? So now I'm going to connect it right here to the top of this one. Okay, so there's 16 double crochets around here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go inside the top one like that. We're going to grab, grab, grab the tool, bring it through that, and bring it through that one that's on the hook. So now I have a circle here. Okay, see that? Okay, that's the beginning. Now, if you want to change colors, you can not tie this off and tie on another color right here. Then you tie it right here, 
and then you start your new color. So you're going to go one, two, three again. And now what I do is I put two in the first one, so because the first one counts, right? So now I have two. Then I'm going to do one. And the next one, I'm, I'm doing it in these these big spaces. See the big spaces? Those in between the, the double crochet, I'm putting it in there. So I'm going to do two, one. I'm going to do two, one, all the way across. So you can put two in one and then one in the next one. Okay, I'm done with this. Do you see? So now i got to get another piece of tool. Tie it. Make sure it's in back. So you, you have to get used to it. Just get it out of your way. Two, one, and two in the next one. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to finish this circle, and then we're going to connect it, okay? Okay, I'm back. All right, I did all two, one, two, one, right? This is my last row. So what you're going to do is, here's the top again, right here. Can you see it? So we're going to, now we're going to go on the top one right here. Go in, pull it through, and go through. Now I'm going to connect this, so I'm not going to, not going to cut this one off. Make this flat. And so what you do is you just tear it. Okay, so now my little tail, and I'm going to connect it with a different color so you can see. So then you can see how you can connect colors. So now I have a red one. Sorry, that's the only color I have, so let's put the red. And then I'm going to tie it into a knot right here. And what you do when you do these, you tie it all the way down to the bottom, okay? So now I have this, and I have the other side. So the side with all the, your wrong side, with all your connections that you pushed underneath when you were crocheting that there. You're going to put that on top of here. And they all stick out when you do it. You can't keep them in. So you're just going to shove them in when you um, when you start crocheting. So now I have this color. So just going through the top of one, of this one right here. Okay. Then poke into one of these holes on the other one. And you're just going to pull it through and do a single crochet. So we're going to go through the top of this one. Go down to the next one. Pull it through and just doing like a single crochet right here. Pull it through, go around. Oh yeah, see, look, I made this one into a ball. So, because I had a lot, I had three, I was working with the different colors and they were getting all messed up in my bag and I was getting all tangled. So I sat down, watched TV and rolled it in a ball. And the cat was having a, a ball with, a ball with the ball. Okay, so then you just keep going around. Okay. Inside the top one, go into the bottom one, grab it, pull it through like this, and then you're going to put this around and then go through the two bottom ones. Okay, let's do it again. In the top one, we're going right there, up in here. Okay, then we're going to go inside this right here of this bottom one. We're going to pull this through, okay, and we're going to wrap this around, and we're going to pull through both of them. See, now we're starting to get it. I'm going to put you on pause, and I'm going to finish around. Okay, I'm back at, I'm at the very end right here. Do you see right here? So I'm at the last one right there. Do you see how it has the purple right there? I just go over to the end, pull it through like how we did. Go pull it through and then pull it completely through the other one. No wrap around. Then I wrap around one time to make a knot. Pop this. Okay, just pop it like, just tear it. Pull it like this. Push this knot down nice and snug. What you do is you need to take your needle, go inside one of the holes here, go where the this tail is at, hook onto it and pull it through the middle. Let's just grab it and sh we're going to just hide this inside, okay? Then push your needle through. Then you're going to have to stretch these a little bit. Just kind of pull it like this. And I'm going to tell you what. You give these gifts this. Here it is. You give these to people. Every Christmas I make these and I give to my, my good friends. And when, last year, um, well, the year before, I didn't make them. And you know, they were like, Where's my scrubber? I wait every year for my scrubber. 
I said, people are going to love you for this. This is an awesome, awesome way to clean your clean your dishes. It won't scratch anything. It's hyperallergenic. Uh, it's just really great. So have fun making a scrubber. Um, got any questions, just uh, email me, leave me a message, and try to help you out. Like I said, this is not teach you how to crochet. you got to go learn how to make a, a slip knot, learn how to make a double crochet, and a single crochet. Practice that. If you're new at crocheting, do not try to attempt this first, or you'll quit. You won't want to crochet. I give, I teach at our church uh, people how to make things out of crochet, and and they're kind of beginners, some of them. And when they try to do, because they, they all want to learn how to make scrubbers, and they have such a hard time. So you gotta be real comfortable um, with your crocheting before you actually try to attempt this. It is a little difficult. This is a little rough to work with and tough. So a lot of people are scared to be rough and tough with it. But you gotta be a little tough with it. This is this is a tough one. And I'm gonna just tell you, the purple and the and the the blue and the white. And I'll tell you the white is easy to work with because it's not as uh, stiff. Uh, sometimes when you go there, feel them. Because some of them, some colors I guess it has a lot of dye. They're really hard and stiff. Um, I try to avoid those because it will just wear your hands out. You'll, you'll get tired, um, and there's no reason you have to deal with that. Go pick another color, but you could make some pretty cool ones. So anyway, um, happy crocheting, and hope you um, let me know how you do. All right, aloha.